want to win your own copy of NHL 17, like the video and follow the Gleam link in the description below. Now, on to the video. Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yax City Gaming, everybody. As once more today, we are picking up NHL 17. It is franchise mode with the Edmonton Oilers. And yes, it's our first look, episode 3 of Morale. And you see Mark Letestu, my performance is something I'm not too proud of lately. Well, sorry Letestu, I know you're trying your best, you're a bottom six playmaker, that's going to be kind of an issue. You know what I mean, usually uh, usually not a thing. Everybody goes through rocky patches, you'll, you'll turn a corner soon I'm sure. Uh, but you know what, I know you have it in you, you just need to stay focused going forwards, so that's what we're going to do. And that seemed to resonate, his morale improved, that is good enough for me, we are good to get him back on the trend. And really, I'm going to show you guys the edit line movements I did. I didn't do too much. I put Jordan Everly back up on the right wing on the top line with McDavid and Lucic. Just thinking, you know what, sniper power forward and playmaker should culminate something. Sniper, sniper, and playmaker up the second line. Hopefully Yak can get going. I mean, Yakpov, what's he had? He's had three assists this year. He's a minus four, 12 shots. He needs more shots on goal, that's for sure. And defense, I moved up Sakara up to the first line with Adam Larson. Larson, who has not been the greatest overall for us in terms of plus minus, but on the DN, he's had three goals and two assists, 18 shots. He's had more shots than Yak, and he's done a lot better. So that is the hope that somehow that gets them motivated and we get going on a win streak here. So let's... uh. Of course, I hit the back button one too many times. Just hold on with me here for two seconds, as we will have to cancel that. There we go. And doesn't look like there's any maintenance needing to be done to the arena, so we will get going into the calendar and get going through November this time round. And let's see here. November was not so, or October was not so kind, so we will go the first two weeks of November for us. And we should be facing Ottawa to finish off October. That will be a huge game if we can get a win. And that will be a 3-1 win. And we are 3-5-1 on the year. That's awesome. Against Toronto, oh, a 5-3 loss. Okay, we almost had it. Uh, Schleppyshev's been injured. We'll auto-replace player. That's okay with me. And against New York, need a win, need a win, need a win. Come on, there's a shootout win. I'll take it 4-6-1. We're starting to pull even again. And against the New York Islanders, another victory would be kind. Nope, 5-2 loss. That's okay. And Amateur Scout is done the scouting assignments. So you know what? We want to send him to the QMJHL. We need defensemen for three weeks. So let's go there and see if we can get him going. And a 5 nothing loss to the Detroit Red Wings. Schleppy Chev's back. We'll go best lines down there in the AHL. OT loss. So 4-8-2. Last game of this simulation, then we need to figure out what's not working and what is working. 6-1 win all of a sudden, so now that's going to throw things off for us. But we are sitting fourth in the division, 5-8-2 on the year. So we're point up on Arizona, two points up on the San Jose Sharks, four points back in the division third spot. So interesting little race going on here if we can get a couple games won we can get going and you see Pat Maroon on the third line has 11 points and is a plus two he's our only plus player I believe yes he's our only plus player so I don't know how that's happening you see Leon Dreisaitl on the third line has 10 points now Yakpov's all of a sudden gotten up to nine points he only has one goal still though Adam Larson down to minus 10 eight points Nugent Hopkins, 8 points. Connor McDavid only only getting 7 points done. Jordan Everly only 6. Everybody else, Latestu has 5. Clefbaum has 4. Really, Sakara has been a letdown with only 2 so far and a minus 9. So, I think we move Clefbaum back up and we hope that the simulation is more fair to us this time around. Darnell Nurse, not a bad plus minus, but he has no points on the year. So I think we got to mix up the lines a little bit here and try and get something of a contender going. I feel Todd McClellan's job is not going well so far this year. I mean, we're only four points out of a playoff spot, and it's already halfway through November. The Oilers haven't been eliminating it yet, so that's huge, I guess. 
But you see Yakupov, Lucic is injured. So you know what? We're going to move Yak back up there. We're going to move Pat Maroon up with the Ryan Nugent Hopkins and see if we can get Sniper power forward in our top six, hopefully. And defense-wise, Adam Larson's up. So you know what? We can move up Clefbaum once again. Darnell Nurse, move him down, but he's a zero overall on plus minus so we'll leave him where he is and we will go into another simulation here we're only 15 games into the season this is something i gotta remember it feels like we're about 25 30 so let's get through the next what is that seven games and see if at the 22 game mark we end up having something a little bit different to say so against the new york rangers how are we going to look how are we going to match up darnell nurse has been injured He's out until the November 20th, so we will edit lines manually. Luckily, we've got defensemen who can come in and fill that role for Darnell Nurse. In the state of Griffin Reinhardt, we will substitute him in all lines. Griffin Reinhardt, we got to let him grow, so we'll play him with Sakara. One injury is not going to de derail the entire season, I don't think. Against Anaheim, Oscar Clefbaum has now been injured until December 14th. Okay, this is not good news. What we have to do is we have to go out and sign a defenseman. That's what we have to do. I do not want to do it, but I think we have to do it because we cannot have um, Andrew Ference playing D. So Andrew Ference will substitute no lines there, and we will get back into the simulation. Game against Anaheim is lost. So this is where it gets interesting. You guys were calling for a free agent signing, so that is exactly what we have to do here to just plug a hole and hopefully get our decor a little bit of help here because we are really struggling with that. So let's see. Chris Russell looks to be the best option available. And at 29 years old, we can't really argue with him. 4.5, we'll try and sign him for 4.3. One year, one way, and I'm considering your offer. He'll get back to us, so we have to wait for him to get back to us, but at least Andrew Ference will only have to play one game for us. The guy is not exactly what we need at this point of the year, and we've got up against, we'll try and go up against uh, Dallas and see if that means anything. Andrew, okay, um... We will go and allow Darnell Nurse to sit out one more game. 2-1 loss, and Dallas is ready to play us. So we are really struggling now. 12 points. We are only two points back of the San Jose Sharks. So that's that's okay. We are, we are going to be fine as long as we stay within a competitive race. That's all that matters to me is staying competitive. Griffin Reinhardt is in there, but we need to get rid of Andrew Ference. For Darnell Nurse. Yes, sir. There we go. Darnell Nurse in there. Griffin Reinhardt there. And Andre Sequeira there. Perfect. And we can keep the simulation going. I believe. Yes, Oscar Clefbaum is still injured. That is fine with me. He'll be back. Hopefully it's not a whole season injury like it was last year. And we will be ready to keep rolling. So let's go this week against Dallas, Chicago, Arizona and Colorado and 8-9-1 Dallas 6-3 win and Chris Russell has accepted our offer so that's good and 4-3 OT loss so we've at least gotten three points in two games played which should move us into a tie for fourth in the division which is good we can take a four-way tie and manage rosters we've signed Chris Russell so now if we can get rid of Andrew Ference we'd be doing really rock and roll well but defense, we will take out Griffin Reinhardt at this point. No, we will take out Mark Fain. Because, you know what, at least Brandon Davidson has room to grow still. And where is... Oh, do we have to call him up from the minors? I think we might have to. Roster moves. Call up Chris Russell. There we go. He's in the system. Confirm call up. There we go. And get him into the edit lines here. And offense. We need defense. There we go, boys. Let's get Mark Fain out of there and get in.
Chris Russell, who has player morale issues already, which we really hope he doesn't. And Chris Russell to play alongside Darnell Nurse. And then Darnell Nurse will play with Brandon Davidson once Oscar Clefbaum is back. So that solidifies the decor. We'll have our player morale meeting and go just a couple more games to see if we can get what we need. I hope to join the list of successful free agent signings. You won't regret me. Calming, yes, okay, wasn't affected one way or the other, that's okay. That is what we need right there, just a calm approach, get them into the lineup, get them going. And we've got, what, 20 games into the season, we're in 6th place, we can make a run here. We'll go the last two games, and then that will wrap up today's episode against Colorado. What are we going to end up getting? We are going to get... A 3-0 loss, of course we're going to lose, 6-12-3 and three on the year. And Arizona shootout loss, 5-4. to four. And that is rough start to the year. It continues. We are 16 points. We are 7th in the division. Only 3 points back of 4th place. 6 points back of 3rd. But we need to start making a charge quickly. And guys, you got to tell me, what is wrong with this team? Let's take a look at the stats. See who's going wrong where. Connor McDavid all of a sudden has 15 points on the year in 22 games played. Leon Dreisaitl, 15 points. Nail Yakupov, 14. So Yak's getting the points, but he's really struggling to turn up the goals, which we need him to do. Pat Maroon, 8 goals. And this team really struggling to generate anything. You see Darnell Nurse, no points still. Griffin Reinhardt, no points. Chris Russell, no points. This team... Struggling to score. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I will be tuning down the injury slider. I forgot to do that to start off the year, and that's what's really caused us to struggle right out of the gate. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like, and I will catch you guys, as always, in the next one.